Place your bets, you jack wagons. Brad, the big noise heavens here on a solo mission of the feed. Five podcasts. Uh, Luddy's having some internet issues. He's going to be back with me on the broadcast on a freaky Friday. But let's go ahead and get after it on this hashtag tequila slash taco Tuesday. We're hopping aboard the Hong Kong plus bus and aiming for a plus 100 odds or greater wager that has caught our eye. And the one that uh, I'm taking axe to the dish with is Jordan Alvarez, uh, the left handed swinger. Of the Houston Astros, I say he knocks an a run against the Colorado Pebbles at a plus 125 juice. Yeah, get seduced by that juice. Pull this one from BetMGM. Jordan is going to be facing Austin Gomber, who has been a goomba and he's been smushed early and often this season, especially on the road. He's got a 5.05 ERA. Uh, away from Coors Field, 1.65 home one per nine mark overall. A little bit lower the road at 1.54. So Jordan can maybe get this on RBI single, split a gap on RBI double, or just take one over the fence and knock him his damn self in. Uh, regardless, I think the odds are strong. Now he's over two lifetime against Austin Gomber, but against Port Siders this season, he's batting 330. With four home runs and a 904 OPS. Uh, on top of that, as well, he's got an RBI in five of his last eight games and has 19 ribbies total over the last 30 days. So put it all together. You're done. Yes. On the RBI against Colorado, plus 125 there at Bet MGM. With that, Bet on the board. Let's get after it with a Tuesday edition of the Fade Five. All right, let's make some Washingtons in the W, shall we? Uh, and there's only one game on the slate tonight. It's a Minnesota Lynx taking on the New York Liberty. So working a little SGP on both of these ladies to snag eight boards apiece. Give me the piece of collier uh, to get that achievement. And give me John Quill Jones also. To grab at least eight boards plus 113 on the SGP there at FanDuel Sportsbook. Look at a Collier. Uh, she's got like Dennis Rodman esque skills, except uh, better offensively. But uh, on the glass, despite only being six foot one, she is warm like to say the least. Uh, she's averaging 10.4 rebounds per game on the season. She's grabbed at least eight boards and 13 to 16 affairs. And she had a dozen rebounds and 35 minutes earlier this season against the Liberty. I understand New York has allowed the second fewest opponent rebounds for game of 32.7, but Carter will find a way to sneak in the interior, get position, box out, and snare at least a board. So I'm liking the front end of this SGP. Meanwhile, leg numero dos, John Quill Jones, to do the same damn thing. I understand she only had a half dozen rebounds in that first match of played on May 25th against the Minnesota Lynx. But the Lynx have allowed the second most opponent rebounds per game on the season at 36.6 per contest. Uh, she's done this in either last 11 games. She's averaging 8.8 .8 rebounds per game on the air. So all I'm asking, Miss Jones, just hit your average and we cash in. So to recap, to recap, Collier, eight or more rebounds. Jones, eight or more boards as well. Uh, on that uh, glass special, hopefully going to wax it at a plus 113 juice there at FanDuel. Numero cuatro here on the feed. Five. Uh, let's get after a little two-layer in the world of Major League Baseball. And it's all walks all the time. And a couple of guys that love to issue the free passes. Uh, get them at a Mazer of the San Diego Padres. Two or more walks. And I say Tyler Anderson of the LA Angels does the same damn thing. Two or more walks. Hey, put those two together. Plus 133. Handsome juice there. At DraftKings Sports. Well, here is what Mazur has done. His first four rotation turns of his big league career. Three walks, six walks, three walks, and four walks. All I need is two. He's averaging 8.31 walks per night. Yikes. Uh, I know the Nationals, who he's going against, a team that uh, really doesn't have 
a propensity for patience. They are number 24 in base on balls percentage this season, uh, or uh, last couple of weeks, I should say, at 6.4% of the plate appearances earned that free pass. But all I need is a couple of mistakes. And um, this is an alt total because the standard line's at two and a half. So I think Mazer will issue a pair of walks tonight. Meanwhile, with Tyler Anderson, two or more walks. He has done this repeatedly this season as well. In fact, uh, he's got a 3.91 walks per nine mark on the season. A little bit better at home at 3.83. He's taking on the Oakland, hopefully going to be like C minuses tonight with their patience uh, and judiciousness at the dish. Uh, Oakland number 15 and based on balls percentage the last couple of weeks during that free pass 8.2% of the time, much lower mark. Granted, against LHPs this season at 6.7%, but Anderson has done this in four of his last five. I believe he's done it like uh, 10 of his last 12 starts. So the majority of his appearances this year, he's handing out those free passes. I say again tonight, he does it not once, but twice. So to recap, two-legger, Adam Mazur, two more walks. Tyler Anderson, two or more walks, plus 133. Work those shoulders and get seduced by that juice at DraftKings. Leg numero tres, uh, number three here on the fade of five uh, uh, countdown. We're going to go with Joe Ryan, a guy that has a very basic name, and I think the stats are going to uh, really comply with that belief. Give me the under on six and a half Ks against the Arizona Diamondbacks. A little heavier too, set up at 135. Pull this one from BetMGM. Uh, you look at Joe Ryan specifically, this number's just too high. A uh, guy who's been out this in five of his last seven starts. Now, I know on the road this season, pretty handsome, 9.35K per nine in totality, 9.29. So he's been a king in consistency in this category. But Arizona is just not striking out a ton here of late. Uh, the last couple of weeks, 19.3K percentage. That is number 24 in all of Major League Baseball. So I think the trend's going to be thy friend. Give me the under on Joe Ryan. Six and a half strikeouts against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Minus 135. At Bet MGM. Hey, but wait, there's plenty more. Go to the gamingjuice.com right now and sign up for an account. It's absolutely free every single day. Our esteemed panel of writers is cranking out fresh content, including yours truly. I'm covering a, a daily action in Major League Baseball, uh, cranking out a ton of pieces weekly on the WNBA. We got team previews, fantasy football ranks. And season-long props already posted on our absolutely free, always available, always transparent NFL Gamers Guide. You can get all of that and so much more. Go to the GamingJuice.com right now. Click, converse, and cash. Dot, dot, dot. Maybe. All right, marching on here on the Feed 5 Countdown Numero Dose today. Let's get some more plus money on the board, shall we? And how about Seth Lugo? I don't think he's going to languish on the bump today. At home, taking on the Miami Marlins. Give me him to record the dub at uh, a decent plus 10, 110 juice, I should say, uh, there at DraftKings Sports. So we can look at Lugo. Uh, I know the bad bib has been quite fair for him. I know they expect the array much higher than the surface ERA. A correction is somewhere on the horizon. But is it really going to come tonight against one of the worst offenses in Major League Baseball? How bad are the Miami Marlins with well, their number 29 in WRC Plus? The last couple of weeks, uh, they've only scored 41 runs in their past 13 games. And they are dead last in that category in road matchups this season. Now, KC... Uh, they've had a scoring outage of their own. They're dead last in WRC Plus the last couple of weeks. So maybe this has got like two to one, three to two written all over it. And I know Lugo has only won one game in his last four starts, but a decent 3.12 home ERA with a three and two record and seven appearances uh, there at Kauffman Stadium uh, with uh, as well a 3.22 strike of the walk split which is no slouch. Uh, so given the shortcomings of Miami offensively, hopefully the bats will offer some support for the Kansas City start. It does that. Probably going to go at least six strong. 
and uh, the, maybe the door slams in the end from the bullpen, and we get the win, Seth Lugo, to record that W against the Marlins, plus 110 at DraftKings. Numero uno here on the feed. Five countdown on this Tuesday. Uh, let's go first five action, shall we? In the supreme pitching matchup of the night. Uh, we got the Philadelphia Phillies against the Dejua Tigers. Give me the under first five innings of three and a half runs at an even Steven plus 100 juice. And I pulled this. At DraftKings Sportsbook, who is uh, taking the ball for their respective clubs? Well, it's only Ranger Suarez and uh, Tariq Skubal, uh, guys that are just absolutely destroying it this season. Uh, definitely uh, very much in the uh, Cy Young conversations in their respective leagues. Of course, Suarez there for the Phillies in the National League and Skubal uh, for the Tigers in the American League. Now, Philadelphia is numero uno. And all of Major League Baseball and first five runs per game, averaging 3.13 per contest. Detroit, though, much lower on that list. And number 17, averaging 2.33 per contest. Uh, both these teams, uh, right around 500 the last 10 games uh, in terms of over under record on the first five innings. Uh, Philadelphia, five and five in that category. Detroit, four and six. Again, with the six being the unders on the season, Detroit has hit the under. Uh, uh, well north of 50% of the time, Philadelphia 39, 33, and 6 in first five overs to under. So, again, two teams really kind of going in the opposite direction on this particular prop, but it's all about the pitching matchup. More specific, Ranger Suarez, 1.85 ERA, first time through the order, falls it up 1.93 ERA, second time through the order. Scooble, even better, 1.57 ERA, first time through the order, and 1.72 ERA, second time through. So, knowing the seller, starting pitchers, uh, tone of the rubber in this matchup, and Detroit's issues offensively, I say the under it's my number one play of the day. Three and a half runs over the first five innings at a plus 100 Jews there at DraftKings. But wait, there's more. It's bonus time. Bonus time. Let's go to the team. White Lose Parlay play of the day in that particular matchup between the Philadelphia Phillies and Detroit Tigers. So on this SGP, come with me if you are buying what I am selling. Leg numero uno on the all total. Give me the under full game. Not first five innings, but full game. Ten and a half runs. Leg numero dos. Give me Ranger Suarez. The Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Four more Ks. Give me Tariq. Scooble, Scooble, do. Where are you? Hopefully punching out the competition at five or more strikeouts. And Mark Canna of the Tigers to get a hit. Uno, dos, tres, and cuatro. Me goes all four legs hit. Plus 146 there at DraftKings. I already gave you all the reasons why I like uh, the under on the first five. And I think that just, you know, extends and applies uh, two really decent bullpens to the full game overall. So I'll take that under on 10 half runs. And then meanwhile, with Suarez, four more strikeouts. He's done this in five of his last six games. He's got a, an attractive 9.19 uh, K per nine on the road this season. And Detroit, numero cinco, number five in strikeout percentage for the last couple of weeks at 24.7% of the plate appearances. Uh, though that number a little bit lower against South Pauls this year. Still, I believe Suarez uh, will strike out four. Meanwhile, with Scooble, uh, getting one additional strikeout, five or more. Philadelphia middle of the pack in K percentage the last couple of weeks at 21.5%. That's number 16 in the bigs, but much higher K per nine uh, that they have uh, tallied against left-handed pitchers. 22.9% K rate to be exact. A Scooble 10.2 weight K per nine at home. Uh, 10.50 overall. And he struck out at least five in all of but one start this season. So 14 of 15, he's gotten a necessary threshold. Then Mark Hanna for a hit. Uh, it's all about taking advantage of the matchup against a South Paul pitcher. And that's who Suarez is. He's batting 302 against LHPs this season with a 921 OPS. He's batting 295 over the last 15 days. Uh, and not only that, too, he's got a couple of career hits and six at bats against Suarez. And has got a hit and six of his last nice. 
certain games as well. So to recap, to recap, the team Huevos Parlay Play of the Day, Philly, Detroit, under the all total 10 half runs. Ranger Suarez, a four or more strikeouts. Derek Scooble, five or more Ks. And Mark Canada get a hit. Let's put a gap, my friend. Plus 146 built there at DraftKings Sportsbook. All right, more action. About his time. About his time. Give me Jerks and Profar over one and a half total bases at a plus 140 juice. Again, taking on those Washington Nationals. And he's going to see Mackenzie Gore. He is over three lifetime with a pair of strikeouts against him. But against left handers this season, he's only batting a robust 345 with a 987 OPS. He's collected at least a couple of bags on four of his last five games. And Gore has been subpar at best. Last five starts, 4.39 ERA. And on top of that, Profar hitting uh, a quite good 295 over the last 30 days. So I like Profar over one and a half total bags at a plus 140 juice. Elsewhere, go ahead and give me uh, Jaron Duran, uh, the table setter for the Boston Red Sox, over one and a half hits. And at FanDuel, that is plus 185. So sexy juice there. A guy that is six for 13 lifetime against Kevin Gossman of the Toronto Blue Jays with four doubles, as a matter of fact. Uh, he has got at least one and a half hits uh, repeatedly here of late. He has done, in fact, uh, four times in his last six games. He's batted 431 over the last 15 days with a 1,106 OPS. Uh, and you look at Gossman against hook hitters, left-handed hitters. He's given up a 292 batting average, 853 OPS. I know he's got that great and sparkling 1.86 road ERA. But over the last couple of rotation turns, 5.73 ERA. So he can get bludgeoned. Uh, by Jaron Duran. I like him over one and a half hits. Again, at that very, very attractive plus 185 juice. All right, I am out of breath, and we are out of time here on the feed. Five podcast full episode with Lenny and I. We're going to be back on Friday. Uh, do us a favor, would you very kindly? And drop us a little rating and a review at your convenience. Also, fade or follow us on the X. Uh, we're always trying to give it to you or the Twitter. Uh, me at Noisy Huevos, Lundy there at Nate Lundy. Sign up for the gamingjuice.com right now. Again, it's free. I have no stick and excuse, and we're cranking out uh, nearly a hundred pieces of content every single month. A lot to choose from, and it's all short form. We don't belabor points. We get in, get out, maybe make it chuckle in the process to boot. So uh, with that, as always, fade or follow. That is up to you.